Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus today, chapter 15, verses 11 to 13. And we're just kind of working our way through some bits here in this song. Let's go ahead and take these verses. Who was like you among the gods, O Lord? Who was like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in praises, working wonders? You stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. In your loving kindness, you have led the people whom you have redeemed. In your strength, you have guided them to your holy habitation. So who is like you among the gods? Well, not none, because there there is no other God. All the other gods are fake. There is one God, one God alone, who actually exists, and all the others are are imaginary. So all the fake gods can't amount to anything compared to the true God. Notice also that he is leading a people. He is leading, he is guiding, He's he is bringing them from position A to position B. And God is doing the same for you and I today. He's bringing us out of position A, and his purpose for us is to, to arrive at position B. He is bringing us along. We're, we're on the way. We're headed in the direction that God has plans for us to go. God has marked out a trail, and we are to go in that space. We don't always know exactly uh, which way to go on the way, we don't know every exact footstep, but we know the general direction, and we know that by faith we can trust him. He will guide us. He is the leader. He is the guide. And unless we're not willing to be led or if we're not willing to be guided, yeah, we can come along in God's pathway, and he will help us. Finally, look at that third piece. Where are they being led to? Where are they being guided to? To his holy habitation. His holy habitation? A lot of times we think, you know, well, we're just going on to something a little bit better, you know, just marginally, just a half step up and a half step up and a half step up. But guess what? God has plans to do mighty things for us. And he's He's not taking us to a, a special place or even like, you know, a, a rich mansion or something. And that's all it is. He's taking us to his holy habitation. <laughs> God is bringing his people up to holiness. Holiness, I know it's a forgotten word, I know it's a forgotten idea, but God's plan is that his people would be set apart, they would be separate from the world, they would be holy, not outside the world, because God wants to express his love out into the world, and he has a purpose for us to be part of that. We're the arms and feet, right? The hands and of God stretching out into the world. He would use us to do good things. But he's bringing us to a holy habitation. He's bringing us to a place where we can dwell. He was bringing the Hebrews out of Egypt into Israel, his land, where they could live godly lives. And he's trying to bring us today. Are we willing to come? Are we just saying, uh, please just drop me off at the nearest motel and that'll be fine? No, we need to go all the way, all the way with God, all the way to the holy habitation he's providing. What is that holy habitation? In our life, God's plan is he's going to continue to develop us. He's going to develop your character. He is going to help you to become more and more and more like Jesus. And so we're on the way to that holy habitation. A lifestyle, a living, a living that is more and more like Jesus. And that's what we desire. It's what we want. The world doesn't know it and wants that. But it, if it only knew the details, it would want that. You and I help have to help God's kingdom, the details, come into the real world in some intelligent way, following the Lord Jesus. God will help us. All right, tomorrow morning we'll do some more as we come up to the next verses in this Song of Moses. <laughs>